Hi guys, welcome. This is a teaser trailer reaction for season two of House of the Dragon. I cannot wait. I am so excited. Summer 2024 cannot come any sooner. Uh, it, uh, from, I mean, spoiler alert for anyone that's not watched House of the Dragon. Uh, definitely, I'm not one that knows the intricate details of the book. So I am not too sure what exactly will happen in the season. All I know definitely is our queen Rhaenyra Targaryen is going to get revenge for her lost son. So I'm not sure the route that it's going to go. And I mean, with with her son gone, uh, we could see literally the fire in her eyes. So uh, yeah, it's going to go down. That's for sure. And I've heard that this is like the epitome of a chain of events that sets the tone of what was the downfall of the Targaryens, essentially. So I'm so excited to see a little bit of this trailer and then let's find, let's like, maybe chat a little bit at the end. But yeah, FYI, my voice is gone. It's super cold in London. <laughs> so yeah. Errors were made in the hours following King Viserys' death. Shit, she looks rough, babes. The war be fought. Many will die. Is that Kristen? And the victor will eventually ascend the throne. There is no war so hateful to the gods. There's a war between kin. Ooh! And no war so bloody as a war between dragons. Oh my god! Yo! Oh, give it. Oh, wow! Oh, my God! Stop it. I can't even scream loud enough to express my like love for this trailer oh my god wow that was amazing okay so a couple of things i mean i have to brush up on my <laughs> house of the dragon history i mean with uh multiple names over there but uh i guess i've got to get a notepad back out babes it's it's uh it looks like an action-packed uh season trailer for that and uh, just that gist of it but we saw like radira looks tired like it's as if she's not uh, definitely she's not slept at all she's definitely very much believe it or not maybe planning her next attack against the greeds and you could see damon is also getting ready he's, he's got his battle war helmet ready and that's there there someone was being beheaded Kristen has cut his hair chopped off by guy who's chopping off her hair and has chopped off his hair lovely that's great i don't know who it is then you could see allison is also like really uh, i'm pretty sure she's also definitely in the plot but i mean she's in she's in the game now she's playing it all out and then you've got that little snake otto hightower just in the corner just doing his thing and then we've got amond then we've got egon he's literally uh i i know that egon will definitely be king because well we see him in the end um but it's going to be a battle between I, I, the thing that was very interesting is when i saw the poster it was very interesting to see that it's going to be uh well uh Rhaenyra against uh like Alison. like those were the first two posters that was uh, i for some reason thought that it would be maybe Rhaenyra and egon only because egon uh is the is the one that um is the one that is going to be king and then everyone um that swore to Rhaenyra either left her or you know maybe some are loyal this that like I thought it's going to be them too because it's like battle of the dragons between them so um it was interesting to see Alison's face there but I, uh, nevertheless it was a really good thing like I love the way they did the poster you could see like the tear on in, on Rhaenyra's face it's fabulous but uh, then you see, like, there are two dragons on the ground. Uh, I think one was Cyrax, and I can't tell who the other one was. I believe, let me just quickly check. Uh, 
One is Cyrax for sure. I don't know. Is the other one Vermitror? I think so. It's much bigger. Then in the next frame, I think I see Helena. Yeah, I think I see Helena. I'm not too sure. She looks all bloodied up. I hear like I've been told that it's it's tough to take at least Helena's story but I don't know I, I'm not sure what else happens after that but it says that because you know she was able to see everyone else's future and it's very sad that she won't be able to see her own of course who would and it's just sad to see what happens to her And then you could see there was like some sort of fight that was broken off at King's Landing um, where you could see Alison was being grabbed, I guess, like by the people that pledged their loyalty to Rhaenyra. And I think that's having like a backlash or something like that. You could see the, the city is in like flipping chaos. Um, I'm just going to go like scene to scene. Then you see like right after... You see Aemon in, in, on uh, Vagar and then like an angry Rhaenyra on Cyrax. Like, oh my God. And then what else is like the main thing? Uh, yeah, see, like, I, of course, you see Rhaenys as well. And you can see she's, they're all dressed in black. And yeah, like, it, it's it's going down. Definitely it's going down. Then I think we see um, Bela. Was it Bela or... I'm not sure. I don't know if her name is Bela. But uh but yeah, you you just see like a little bit of everything, a little gist. And then we see, of course, the Iron Throne, the, the infamous Iron Throne and the infamous egg on the conqueror's table and everyone at the table. We I I forgot the name. So Harik Arik? The 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 twins, one of that now uh King's Guard, then Damon, then Rainey's all at the table, light up, pretty sure, plotting their strategy. Uh, but very interesting to see that Rhaenyra has not had her hair let down and it's like properly tied. It's it's almost like as if she's getting ready for war and because it's not like as if she her, the wind will catch on her hair or some, something like that, but it's just like she's focused. I think with her hair out, it was more like she was free-spirited. This one, she's like hair out I mean hair tied let's get down to business so yeah but you could see like Rainey's different look uh, I, I feel like I think she had a different look but anyhow everyone looks super I, I love Rhaenyra's um style you can see she's wearing a crown beautiful I loved her like I think I saw like a dragon uh how do you say a dragon thing happening around here um set and i loved it i really love the way they dress rhaenyra uh so i'm super excited to see the rest of this show and I, I, I cannot wait for an actual trailer uh mind you this is only a teaser so maybe we won't have some of these scenes but whatever it is it looks so good and i cannot wait at this time point in time we can see there's fire and fire with rhaenyra at i have team fire at first i used to be like no you should not burn people this that but i think you know what Elena Tyrell said um, to Daenerys, you know, uh, I've the, the, I watched the Game of Thrones for a second time in my own time, and I completely agree with what Elena said at the Dragonstone time when uh, Daenerys was there, uh, you know, in of course at the table. Olena's like, "You're a dragon. Be a dragon. Like that is your f that you you are a Targaryen. That is in your blood." So. I am now, I've of course changed how I used to think in season one of Game of Thrones. I've definitely changed my uh, outlook. So I am all for like supporting Rhaenyra because she's lost a son, so a son for a son. I just, yeah, it's very sad, but I guess, you know, fire and blood, like they are Targaryens. You can't, you can't be merciful in, in this world, so... It's going to be exciting and I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so I'm like a little nervous, I feel, um, for how it's going to turn up. But otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, trailer. It went a little longer than it should have, but other than that, I'll see you in the next one.
whatever that may be and hopefully straight to summer 2024 with house of the dragon season two but yeah i'll see you guys the next one bye